Okay, here we're going to write a script that takes a selection of faces and applies a random push-pull to all of those faces. So we'll start with model equals SketchUp dot active model. I also need to get the selection, so I'll do select cell equals model dot selection. So now I've got um, some variables defined. So now I can take my selection, each do e and end. So what this does, this will take the selection object, which is essentially an array of selected entities, the edges and faces right now, and it'll go through and iterate over every single selected object and do something to it. So what I want, I want to make an array of faces. So I'm going to first define an empty array named faces. So now in here, I will do faces push E. So this means I'm going to add the the entity to the faces array if E is a SketchUp face. So essentially that's pretty straightforward. This will go through every selected entity and add it to the faces array if it's a SketchUp face. So therefore it'll ignore all edges and components and groups etc. So now I want to go through my entire faces array, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Faces dot each do face and end. So in here, I want to push pull each face. So I'm going to do face dot push pull, and I just tell it how much. Now when I run this, it will take all of the selected faces and push pull them all 100 inches. There we go. Now I'm going to undo this so I can redo it again. So, so you see as I undo it, it, it um, treats each push-pull as a separate move, a separate undo command. So the way you fix that is you go model dot start operation and then I have to give it a name. So I'm going to say molt push pull. Yeah, and then I also have to end the operation. So model dot commit operation. So now everything that happens between the start operation and the commit operation is going to be considered a single action. Even though it's doing multiple push pulls, it's going to kind of lump them all together into a single undo. So let's test that. So reselect everything, hit ex execute, and now when I hit undo, everything gets undone all at the same time. Okay, so now instead of doing 100 let's make it a random number so I'll just type in rand 100 and then this will return a random value anywhere between 0 and 99 so uh, select all my faces click execute and you can see it applied randomly a, a push pull to all of the selected faces now let's try it on this ball up here click execute there we go that's kind of interesting. Now obviously instead of you know random push pull, this might be more interesting if it wasn't random. And we did the same amount to everything here. Click execute. Now you get something of like a dis disco ball effect or something applied to that. So that sphere. So that essentially is this script. Um, this is a, the type of thing that I write quickly on a regular basis and what I do for work I'm often taking building footprints and it, and I need to push pull them up to turn them into basic 3D you know massing models of, of buildings throughout an entire city so I use a script like this to just quickly be able to select all the footprints and run this script over them and I can specify instead of instead of you know just a random any random number I can specify um, to go you know between 10 and 20 feet or something to mimic one or two story buildings so um, I hope this is helpful to see this script and I hope you're able to put it to good use All right thanks for watching